Ah, ah, ah. This piece of musical grammar is towards the top of the heap of the most recognisable music in cinema history. Nearly 55 years now after its creation, this little motif is still as pertinent and innovative as it is iconic. It comes from Ennio Morricone's 1966 score to the Italian Western The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. While the film's director Sergio Leone brought inventiveness, freshness and flair to his photography, his composer achieved the same with the music score. Together, the two artists created indelible moments cut on an expansive canvas set to the backdrop of the American Civil War. The film starred Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach as the respective good, bad and ugly protagonists on a quest for a large cache of buried gold. Filmmaker Quentin Tarantino has described the good, the bad and the ugly as, quote, the greatest achievement in the history of cinema, end quote. But what of the music? Ennio Morricone's score is a kaleidoscope of nature call and response symbols, agonised shouts, grunting male chorus, epic wordless female voice, haunting harmonica, spiritual bugling trumpets, tolling chimes, vivid surf rock fender guitar, and sounds imitating gunfire. This overflowing pot of musical goodness is stylized, yet it's cinematic. It's at times avant-garde, yet embraces traditional film scoring techniques. But when taken as a whole, it's a complete rewrite of the film music rulebook. There's much to admire in this score, in Morricone's invention and placement of motifs, his formation of larger thematic material, and his clever orchestration, his specific choice of instrumentation. It was this orchestration process that Morricone considered can be more important than the act of composition. Not only does the good, the bad and the ugly contain one of cinema's most impeccable marriages of music and image, it contains two. In Ecstasy del Oro, the ecstasy of gold, Morricone starts quietly and solemnly with chime, piano and oboe. During just under three and a half minutes, the composer perfectly matches the rhythm of Leone's editing, increasingly intensifying the energy throughout before reaching an incredible ecstasy of music. And at conclusion of the film's epic ceremonial apex that plays without dialogue for over five minutes, we realize how important Morricone's outstanding Il Triello, the trio, music is. The score creates tension and release by amplifying our emotions as Leone alternates his camera between wide angles and extreme close-ups of the three protagonists in their Mexican standoff. At the point in history that Morricone scored The Good, The Bad and The Ugly through 1966, he seemed to be ahead of the curve of what the rest of film music was doing and, in many ways, music more generally. Consider the Beach Boys of late 1966. Their most well-known album, Pet Sounds, had only been on shelves just over six months. Consider the Beatles of late 1966. Their most lauded album, Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, was still almost six months away. There's a feeling to parts of the good, the bad and the ugly that I don't think would be out of place on either of those albums. And like the Beach Boys and the Beatles, Morricone utilised the recording studio as an instrument of its own in achieving his vision. For example, he layered or superimposed trumpets and he varied the amounts of artificial echo to create depth and nuance and perspective to mirror what was happening in the story arc. Music from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly was first issued on LP Record in Italy at the boundary of 1966-67. The same 34-minute program was then issued on United Artists Records in several territories. By all accounts, it remained active and popular in their catalogue. Whilst the CD era has seen several reissues, some with additional music, and the last official release in 2004, 
Now, thanks to Quartet Records and Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Studios, it's the very first time we have opportunity to hear the complete score, several alternate cues, and a fresh remaster of the sensational original album program. This new three CD set provides endless opportunity to celebrate the musical genius of Ennio Morricone in a definitive edition of his most iconic work that we can return to and study for many years to come. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly is available now from Quartet Records. You can visit their website at quartetrecords.com to find out more information. Thanks very much for watching.